Many employers across the country have started their open enrollment periods for 2023 health insurance plans, though the IRS has made some changes to health savings accounts and high deductible plans that could affect your choices. Here to help navigate what's different this year is Yahoo Finance's Carrie Hannon. Carrie, nice to see you. What do we need to know? Hey, great to be here. Um, yeah, this is this is a really big time. It's really important to see what your employer is kind of teed up for you this year. But the one benefit that a lot of people overlook if your employer offers it is a health savings account, right? And so this is all about, you have to have a high deductible plan, of course, and that means this year, the IRS has set the limits where you have to have a plan. That means what you pay out of pocket before your insurance kicks in, right? So what you're looking for this year is it has to be, uh, they limit it to um, at least um, $3,000 for a family a plan for your, dedu for your deductible and $1,500 for individuals. So that they raise those limits. But here's the good news is you can put more into these plans because they're inflation adjusted. So this year, uh, your contribution, if you are an individual, can be $3,850 or family plan is $7,750. And if you're 55 or older, throw in another $1,000. But Dave, what I love about these plans that most people don't get, it's like a tax trifecta. Um, you can you don't pay tax in the money going in. You don't pay taxes on the money as it grows because you invest this money. You don't take mo you don't pay tax on it. Federal taxes when you take it out, uh, uh, and if it's used for medical uh, expenses that the IRS has approved, they have a whole list of these. And most states don't tax you either on capital gains or the amount you take out. Two states do, New Jersey and California. But this is really uh, one of the few investments that you can roll over year to year. Uh, and, and it's kind of disguised as a health benefit. But I'm telling you, it's also a retirement benefit. You roll it over, you can take it with you when you retire or if you change jobs. And for retirees, the cool thing is you can, there's no required minimum distribution like other mm -hmm. plans. You can let it hang out there and keep growing and keep investing it. And so that when you do take it out, you can use it for those medical expenses in retirement not covered by Medicare. And that's really, you know, that's a bonanza for many people. Welcome news for people beaten down by inflation, Carrie. It, they're not for everyone. Who are these accounts not good for? Yeah, that's a good question. You know, I, I get real excited about them because I think it's it's a really terrific opportunity. But if you are somebody who has a lot of health expenses, if you have a chronic illness, or if you expect a major kind of life event in the next year, maybe yeah, a pregnancy or something that may, a surgery of some kind for the next, for 2023, you might not benefit as much because yeah, as I told you before, these are high deductible plans. So you have to pay a bit out of pocket before your insurance is going to kick in. So it might not be the best deal, at least for 2023, if you have some of those upcoming things. Carrie Hannah, nice to see you. Great information for our audience. Appreciate that.